Coralize. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Body Bags. It's week 189, and I'm your Sunday host, DBougie86, here again. Here I am, guys. It's Easter Sunday, yes. So if you guys celebrate Easter at all, I hope you guys have a wonderful time with your uh, families, celebrating the holiday, eating some food, drinking some beers, having some grub. Oh, yeah. Always good when it's Easter time. But today is my review, so I decided to check out a film that I actually did watch this. It's been a while since I got it in, and I wanted to revisit it. And this film has a very interesting history, yes. If you don't know about this film, it is titled The Undertaker. Yes, uh, of course this is uh, the Vinegar Syndrome release of this film. If you knew about this film beforehand, it used to be released on like this heavily cut version where they like re-edited the scenes. It's a version I actually never seen of the film. But I heard that version makes the film unwatchable beyond belief from what I heard. And this is a very interesting film, of course. Of course, this is one of the final films of Joe Spinell, of course, for Maniac fame and numerous other films that Joe Spinell's done over the years when for his passing. And uh, really interesting film, I have to say. Uh, the main plot of this one, we're introduced to Joe Spinell's character who's known as Roscoe, who's actually the town undertaker, yes. And we learned that Roscoe's actually up to like this acts of perversion and violence where he goes out and murders people to have his way with them pretty much and studies the way of death and necrophilia. It's very obscure that there's this hint of necrophilia in Roscoe's life. And unbeknownst, uh, his nephew at one time actually eavesdrops and he overhears him through the doorway and he gets suspicious of what Roscoe is actually doing. So he ends up getting his teacher involved and pretty much it's like a cat and mouse game between like Roscoe trying to figure out if the teacher knows anything and actually taking the teacher out and actually ends up murdering more people in the process of this. And that is pretty much the main plot of this one without going too crazy into it. Now, my thoughts on this. Uh, one thing I gotta say about this film is, uh, with this release by Vinegar Syndrome, they did a tremendous job, like, restoring this film. Uh, uh, one note, though, uh, if you didn't see this yet, there's actually uh, some scenes that were missing from the original print still that they used to use the transfer. So they took certain scenes from like this VHS like uh, reel and inserted them in the film also. So you'll see like a change in quality in certain scenes. It doesn't really bother me that much because I watch films like this all the time, especially with like these lost, hard to get films. And I gotta say, big props to Vinegar Syndrome Man for. Uh, doing what they did with this film, re-editing it, and restoring the transfer tremendously. Now, the film is a very interesting film because, I gotta say, this is a great companion piece to Maniac, and it's very ironic that this is one of Joe Spinell's last films because he's like, the way he's playing his character is like, he's like an aging like, version of his character from Maniac, Frank Zito, with Roscoe, and it's a very good companion piece if you watch Maniac and then watch The Undertaker. You feel like you're watching like a later day version of Maniac pretty much with the same actor. And he does a tremendous job in his role, even though like with the history of learning about this film that he was heavily drinking at the time as this film was made. So he was pretty slosh in a few scenes, and some scenes you could tell but it didn't stop his performance from still being tremendous in the role and great stuff. And there's a lot of like oozy sleaze factor, especially with like the hint of necrophilia that goes on in the film and some great gore and kills also. And I really did enjoy like the aspect of the kills. And another thing about this film that is tremendous is its musical soundtrack is very airy and dark and sets you up for the tone of what's to come in this film with the subject matter that is in line with us. Really tremendous film. I highly enjoyed The Undertaker for what it was. 
Of course, like I said, is the film perfect? No, but there's a reason for that because of what happened with its production. And I think that this is like a very underrated lost gem from the 80s that a lot of people should check out and check out this release from Vinegar Syndrome because it's the best the film has ever looked plus it's the most complete this film has ever been and the, they did, did a terrific job on this release and I big props to them so if I had to rate The Undertaker it's getting a solid 7.5 out of 10 for me I highly enjoyed this film and the storyline and the aspects of like the sleaze and ooziness of what's going on in the story plus the just a terrific La swan song performance by Joe Spinell who did a tremendous job in this film R.I.P. to him and let his legacy live on with releases like The Undertaker and other films that he started like Maniac and the last horror film awesomeness right there so 7.5 out of 10 for The Undertaker all right guys that's it for this review I hope you enjoyed it and as always I'll be back next week with another one peeps see you then peace out